that good chip. What's going on guys, Dividing here, and today we are back with another MCPE shader review. This time we're going to be reviewing the Harrington shader or the HSBE shader. This is version 4 of HSBE or Harrington shader. Links will be in the description of course, and you can check out the creator. So first off, there are once again 4 versions of this. There is a low, a medium, a high, and an ultra. Right now I'm using the ultra once again to show you guys um, how lag it can get and how much it can make your phone turn into a hot potato so first off we're gonna be looking at the sky now as you can see over here we have the sky now personally i'm not a fan of the double layering clouds even if this is the same type of clouds but they're still double layer i prefer it if it's just one layer of clouds but if you're into boxy you know the vanilla like clouds then this is what you get now for the sun over here it is not a white ball of light but we have a custom sun which is a white square of light so the sun goes down it's just your normal colored light and then we have a moon over there not really custom just more of the square type and you do have stars come out so as you can see right there we have some stars it's not directly showing since it's not yet nighttime but this is how the night sky looks like other than that that's basically it for the sky in this shader okay so next up we have our waving leaves now for some reason every time i record in this shader the game starts to lag a bit like the frames per second drops a bit but in normal gameplay it's perfectly fine but this is how the waving looks like um, it waves it kind of waves not too strong at times it does wave too strong if you're into that then that's cool same thing over here for the grass the grass also waves and the light the shadows are not rigid and they're pretty smooth so that's cool so this is how the water looks like it waves pretty smoothly and slowly so you can enjoy it you can enjoy the lag if your device can't handle it but this is how it looks like and we do have reflections over here so the reflections you can see is the sky which is pretty cool you cannot use the shader for monument hunting so i suggest you don't use the shader once you're looking for monuments so for the lighting this is how it looks like we do have this yellow hue vibrant thing going on and there is a feature in the shader which you can turn on or turn off it's in the mcpl instruction so it's basically the blinking torch light effect and if you don't want your torch light to blink then that's perfectly fine but i just think it adds to the atmosphere of the shader and this is how that looks like of course another feature this shader has well most of the shaders have it now is the glowing ores so most of the ores glow so only the shiny ores glow and other than that that's basically it for the overworld if you want to see more lighting here i'm gonna place a torch and honestly i really think the blinking torch light really adds to the atmosphere of the shader and it really makes it like a java like shader so that's great and yeah other than that that's basically it for the shader in the overworld so actually there's one more feature i forgot to tell you guys it is the reflections on the metallic blocks so the last shader that had this was uh evbe personally from what i reviewed and i did like it quite a lot this one on the sides you don't really see the reflections you do see this white band of this white band over here that signifies there are reflections but the way you really see the reflections is that you need to place down blocks on the floor or on the ground just to see it and i think you see it most clearly in iron and gold blocks so if you want to see reflections like that then you should be using iron and gold blocks and personally they look great they actually really look good during the sunsets on the normal daytime it doesn't really look as evident as evbe's but if you're into that that's fine so that's basically it for the overworld let's head into the nether now all right so we're here in the nether as you can see there are particles so that's great and most of the shaders have particles so that's awesome the only thing i guess that doesn't work for the shader when it's in the nether is that the lighting sources are way too dark and if you have enabled the blinking torch everything will just blink like most of the the lava the light sources just blink and personally it does add a touch to the nether where you know it's sort of darkness but with light but for the lighting that the shader gives off the yellow one it doesn't really work for the nether it kind of ruins the the, the mood because it's way too dark for me at least for me but that's basically it for the shader if you enjoyed the video comment down and leave a like and yeah that's basically it see you guys next time goodbye peace <laughs>